Sponsorem programu jest Orlen. Sponsor generalny Igrzysk Europejskich Kraków Małopolska 2023. Dalekich lotów polskim skoczkom życzy firma Blachotrapens, dystrybutor systemów fotowoltaicznych Revolt Energy. Razem sięgamy nieba. Stefan, first of all, it's a big pleasure uh, to welcome you here because we haven't had opportunity to speak, to talk basically since you left Poland. How have you been doing with the German team and how is it uh, with your new career, I mean with your new step in your career as a German coach? Yeah, so now I'm uh, already three or four years now that I coach in <coughs> Germany and yeah, I'm, I'm really uh, satisfied and happy that I have this position as head coach in, in Germany and I think we did in the last last years quite good results. So our last season was not the best one, but it's like on every sport, sometimes up, sometimes down. But overall, I'm, I'm satisfied with my job and I think I have a lot of good co-assistants, co I have a lot of possibilities and really good athletes so, and I like the job in Germany. So we have to ask because there was not much of you in the Polish media basically since you left Poland and even less uh, afterwards because there were some, uh, some rumors, some uh, discussion. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about it? What was the reason why you were not <laughs> a guest, to, you were not giving really many interviews in Poland? To Polish media. Yeah, there was one situation <coughs> before the Olympic Games about the everybody knows these shoe problems. So and uh, after this, I got a lot of bad uh, bad information from Poland. So about me also, and that's why I make the decision. I never give interviews to Polish journalists uh, because. I find this this time nobody knows what was really happened and everybody was only <laughs> expect something so some bad things but it was it was not like this rules are rules and everybody have to stay inside and that's what I I do in this time and so and yeah that's my my decision so because I did I think uh, quite good work in Poland I give everything what I have for the team for everybody and so that's why only on, on the media side it was for me then a bit disturbing and that's why I make decision never speak to Polish journalists but I have sti still really con good contact to all my colleagues here in Poland to all athletes and everything so this is no, no, no problem. So you were really popular in Poland when you were our coach so I think you still give inter uh, interviews autographs to many fans because we, we saw even when we were in like U US you were really popular taking photos with them uh, so I think you still like Poland and are you still feeling somehow you know close to our country? Yeah for sure so I was uh, three years here and I, I liked this time really so it was really really nice for me here I like the people so I like the country <coughs> and I like the sport, uh, ski jumping, and also Polish guys like this very much. And yeah, so I have total no problems with the Polish fans, or or so it's only for me. Uh, this side from the media, from this time with with this uh, shoe discussion was disturbing, really. And so, but otherwise, still like it, and still like it to come back here, Takupane or Wisla, and yeah, really nice to be here. At first, after you left Poland, uh, Michał Dolezal took over the, the team and we were always thinking, how much do you think he, there was a lot like that he was, you know, still coaching, uh, like using your methods, your notes, or was it something that he, our team, our coaches did completely on their own, or was it just, you know, just, just the continuation of what your work? Well, how did you did you see it as a, you know, as um, they are still using your basically your methods, or what do you think? I don't know. This, uh, I don't know. I cannot answer on this because I don't know what they have done this time. I think every trainer have his own methods, his own <coughs> things to do and I don't I don't know. You know, at the beginning when we had still good, really good results with Michał Dolezal, we were thinking if it's still because of the things we, we you did together with the team, like, you know, this is still the effect of your trainings or already the effects of the new methods or the new trainings, you know, and mm -hmm. 
how does it work in ski jumping? Is it like th after one year, the, the, the trainings that you did for them last winter can still affect the next season? Yeah, for sure have this have effects uh, longer or <clears throat> but uh, I think every every coach have his own system and, and also every year it change everything a little bit because uh, the material is changing, the rules are changing and, and the development of ski jumping is really fast so and you have always to continue the, the, the process to adapt the training methods, everything so and <clears throat> that's I think I don't know is there effect of, of this before or even so this is <laughs> this is only speculations I think. <laughs> okay and how did it happen that Michal joined the German team because we were also a bit, well, it was something uh, surprising for us he was you know in Poland suddenly he, ch he joined you w did you talk about him a long time before already or was it spontaneous somehow? No this is, was a bit uh, sp spontane because uh, we we was changing a little bit in our in our coaching system. So some some good coaches from my team went back to the to the areas and and, and have a bit changing in the system. And that we was looking for a, for a coach in in the A team. And then uh, Michal was was free, and I was asking him, if he want to come to Germany and. Yeah, and it was the deal was perfect, and for me it was uh, really good because I know him <laughs> from these this years before here in Poland. He helped help a lot, and I think he's a really really good coach, and he can do everything really perfect. And it was uh, <coughs> yeah a nice a nice uh, time to to come back together. So. So you have a really strong, uh, strong t coaching team right now in Germany. Really many specialists, many good coaches, and uh, ex well-known athletes. Uh, do you feel like this is now a really good stuff? You know, good training team that may, can create a lot of success in the coming winter se or next seasons. Yeah, I hope so. So we are always trying to to do our best and have the the best coaches on the best level. And this year again we have one change because Bernhard Metzler went to, to Austria for the for the ladies, and yeah we we but we are, was uh, uh, it was possible for us to compare this place. We changed a little bit, <coughs> and so right now I have the feeling we are even better than before. So it's always some changes are also ch chances to to to. To coming better and, and so but but Bernhard Metzler did a really good job in, in Germany really really good so he's a really good coach and this was for him I think I was thinking already longer that it's only the time when he get some uh, <coughs> some uh, questions from other countries to go to be head coach and yeah this is this was the the challenge when you have so good coaches that uh, yeah they maybe have some uh, how do you say, angebot in, in Offer. offers yeah, from the, from other nations and so. Yeah, but this is part of the game and, and uh, but I think we are, we, our team right now, it's it's clear, it's good and I have a uh, good feeling and the athletes are working quite good. And if you compare the pressure, the atmosphere in the, when working with the German team, is it more or less similar to Poland? Because in Poland there was a lot of expectation, a lot of media, fans' attention, but also in Germany you get a lot of, I think, of this, of pressure and expectations. How does it look? Yeah, the expectations are also high in, in Germany. In Germany maybe they have a bit more patience. In Poland, when you have one bad jump, then you need a starting discussion. So you have to be always totally on the top. And in Germany, there is a bit more patience for this. So, um, but okay, the, the pressure is still really high because uh, Germany is, is always a strong team. Uh, the, the people want to have success. The ski federation want to have success, and it's also a bit part of the game for the sponsors and everything. So it's. <coughs> Really, really important ski jumping for the for the German Ski Federation. We read there was some critic also that you are keep um, betting like uh, uh, that you on the same athletes that you don't give the chance to the young ones. But uh, did you hear something about this from the German media? Was there some critic from this side that the the, the, the new guys are not coming, you know, often enough in the World Cup? Yeah, this is always discussion, but this is not so so big discussion <coughs> because. 
I can only bring uh, young athletes when they are ready for the World Cup. I cannot, I cannot t take some good guys out and, and bring uh, young guys in when they are not ready for this job. And but this year we have <coughs> we changed a little bit so and we we are I think on on the way right now to bring the youngers more inside to give them the chance, especially in the summer right now, like like here in Zakopane, to bring only the young team so that they can develop his, his uh, form more to, to be a World Cup jumper for the future. It's also not easy to be the coach in Germany because there are often somehow many injuries. We don't know what's the pro reason, but we feel like there is more those uh, Kreuzband injuries than in other teams. Do you also feel like it's the problem here somehow in the I don't know in the system or what's the problem here? I don't know. So this is uh, uh, I don't know why it is. So but we have always a bit more problems with this, but I don't know and nobody knows why. So. This is it's really tough for the German team. Always we are like, oh my God, an another injury. This is really yeah. bad. Yeah, this is really bad. And But I have no answer for this. Uh, but it makes uh, your job also more difficult because uh, you, can't, you can't count on the same guys because uh, of the, those injuries really take a lot of time to, to recover. It's basically, usually the whole season is, mm. is over. Yeah, for you have to... Have a recovery minimum one year of of this, and, and yeah, this is uh, for the athlete and for the coach and for everybody really a hard time to to have not the, the best athletes on the start. So, who is who do you think is now the most promising guy in your team, and who do you have the highest hopes? With probably one of those guys who are here in the uh, in Zakopane. Yeah, I think so. So, <coughs> all the who are here, they have the big potential and nobody knows who will go on the front or maybe nobody go so this is everything is open this is a <coughs> process takes time take a lot of work and uh, so but I think we are on, on a quite good way so we are close right now with these guys to the to the higher level in in, in World Cup but to to be a winner in the World Cup this is even stronger and need still need time how is the interest in Germany in ski jumping? Is it still high or it also decreased a little bit? You feel like it's not as it used to be? Yeah, it always depends on the on the <coughs> how the, how the, the the boys are jumping, but still the the interest is really high in in, in Germany. So everybody is watching ski jumping, likes ski jumping. They are not so fanatic like the Polish guys, but they also really watch the ski jumping and I think they like the ski jumping. And um, how, what, what is your contact right now with the Polish member team members like uh, Grzegorz Sopcic? Do you still are you still friends? You uh, you are in touch with? Uh, what's your you know connections right now? Yeah, we are still in, in in contact and we are still really good friends. And yeah, so it's funny. <laughs> so this whole uh, shoe thing that was so much in the media didn't really affect your personal relations with the coaches or the our team or the, the athletes they didn't they were not angry at you or something like this no no no, no. But this, uh, <coughs> nobody I think is, is angry on me uh, still can I, mean, I see Camilo or David so can speak normally with everybody and also with Apollonios and with Adam so this there is total so it was everything was in the media yeah there was too much in the media yeah? this was the, the media pushed this so high and, and I think this was a bit bad yeah. Okay, so I must I must not must be friend of the media. I'm, it's enough when I have my still my friends are my friends. Then it's okay. You're still really also popular in in Poland, despite you not being so much lately on the media. But uh, what do you think also about the recent changes in the ski jumping rules? Because um, I know you are a person who always speaks. Uh, like from the heart, you always say what you think. You always are uh, being honest. Some people like it, some people are not. But you probably also don't feel like everything is going to the right direction or when it comes to equipment and rules changing. What's your opinion? <laughs> yeah, here as I see, not the optimal way right now. So we have so many changes the last two years. So <clears throat> and. I only, only can hope that this year it's coming better, maybe. So they have some new ideas 
some good ideas, I think. Some ideas who uh, maybe we can fly, maybe discuss again. But yeah, but we the, 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 we are not the, this guy who makes the rules. We can only give some information what would be good, what not so good. And and here it's uh, I can see it's a hard time for this for this guy who make the rules because ski jumping development faster than they can make the rules. And I think here is a bit the problem for the, for them. They try hard. They do everything for this, and yeah, I hope that we have next year a quiet year about the material, so that only the focus is on the on the ski jumping, on the techniques, and these things. So this is, I think, important. We we must find a way to go to go back to see this was a good jump. That is, but is uh, that why he's the winner? Not he have the, the biggest jumping suit or the blue or the red. Or, so this is not the, the best best way. What did you feel when uh, Piotr won the, the World Championships now in Planitza? Because uh, I think nobody really expected it. Yeah, <laughs> nobody expect, but uh, everybody knows Piotr. Piotr can do everything, and I was really happy for him that he did it again. And on the on, on the one side it is, and on the other side I have two two guys behind him. So, but uh, I was happy with with these two medals for sure for for our team. It was a really big success and. And then it's also interesting when you on the, on the <coughs> on the celebration for the medals, and you can see three athletes on the podium. Uh, what you was the trainer? <laughs> it's, it's quite interesting. Yes. What do you think that, for example, the age of the Polish team is so high right now, and is it some general tendency in ski jumping that the older guys can still jump at the top level right now, or is it just something special about our team? Yeah, I just I think this is a uh, something what coming last years more and more that the, the athletes are jumping long uh, longer time and uh, more the older that better they are. <laughs> so and and so I th I, this is some trend what is coming now three four years more and more and and that makes it also really hard for the for the young young jumpers to to beat them. And, yeah, but this is a trend in ski jumping what we have to accept. <laughs> so, so you feel like in the German team there are some guys who can still jump also until the you know, 35, 36? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I have also some older guys right now, but nobody have the feeling that they must quit ski jumping. Everybody is full motivated and won't continue. So, last question. What are your plans for the preparation for this winter? Is it anything special or you just follow the usual methods or is there some new things you introduce some surprises for the team yeah we do we try always to find some new new stuff new things in in the training and the physical training and the technique trainings and development for the material all the things are important and yeah we have for sure we have some special things always and but this is top secret like always <laughs> Just very last question about your son is he's also ski jumping. How is he doing? And what uh, when can we expect him to jump in the World Cup? <laughs> oh, this is this is hard because <coughs> he's uh, still train and jumping, but he have last two years he grow up and now he's in this age where it is a bit complicated because the, the legs are longer and the, the upper body is too short and so. I have to wait a long time, but but he likes ski jumping and he's he's training and he's in this uh, school in Fortwangen and he likes it. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoy Zakopane and being in Poland again. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. Thanks.